how you doing? Hope you're well, thank you for being here as always. If you are brand new to the channel, then um, I have just started my renaissance. No, wait, what did people say? No, I can't remember what the, there was one that I really liked from the comments. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I've done a couple of tracks from Ren, Illus of Our Time, and Hi Ren. Um, and this is an exclusive interview, which was, I don't even know when it was done, to be honest. Was it a couple of years ago? One year ago. So this one year ago, uh, under the spotlight. So we're going to check it out because I, I want to know a bit more about Ren, and that's how we do it. So, <clears throat> now we're talking more watching. Don't worry that. Um, the was it the tale of Jenny and Screech that's coming up as well the full video I know there's like a three part or something like that so it's gonna be the full video no interruptions and it may be a bit of a long video for YouTube but like you know not for YouTube because I think they can accept up to 10 hours but it's not gonna be that long anyway forget that we're here now so this is me finding finding out more about Ren like a little bit more than what obviously what you guys have told me what the fans have told me so if you like this type of you know content if you like this artist hit the subscribe hit the like all that kind of nice stuff and uh, no more talking more watching let's get on with it hey guys i'm sam i'm here with my boy ren yep. and i'm gonna be speaking today can you not say yo because it's okay. really throwing me off <laughs> <laughs> it's really throwing me off uh, sorry sorry wait, what you're an interviewer bro what are you talking about bro what are you talking about bro how does yo throw you off whatever Hey guys, I'm Sam, I'm here with my boy Ren, yep. and I'm going to be speaking today. Can you not say yo? I, it, you know what, it almost does like, almost I don't want to watch this interview just because that interview is a bit of a tit. What are you talking about? The guy just said yo because you just introduced him. What are you saying to me right now? Anyway, whatever. Oh, because it's okay. really throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> it's really throwing me off. Uh, sorry, are you that sorry. dumb that the word yo was throwing you off? Fuck off. Ren, take one, scene one. Hey guys, I'm Sam, this is my boy Ren, and we're gonna be speaking today for Scots Menswear. So Ren, how's, how's it Sam? going? Yeah, it's going all right, mate. Been bit, a bit cold. Bit yeah, chilly. been a bit of a terrible year, hasn't it? <laughs> Such a bleak start. <laughs> but it's true though. It is, no, you it has been. You can't avoid it's it. Been you can't avoid it. It's, it's, the, it's the facts. Now, I don't know if these, if, if these two are boys or not, and if they're boys, that's fair enough. Like, you know, you can, that conversation, then I'll take back what I said right at the beginning about the whole your thing. <clears throat> if they're not boys, then honestly, this interviewer needs, needs a slap. How are you, how are you going straight into it? Oh, it hasn't been a great year, has it? Like, what are you, what are you talking about, bro? Like, what? A bit of context. Like, obviously I know like a little bit about Ren, but God damn, you know, this is at the very, like I've only had two tracks. I don't know that much. And this guy's going straight to it. it hasn't been a great year, has it? It's like, fuck, you might as well just kick him in the nuts. Squeeze his bottle, like, whilst he's drinking. Squeeze his bottle into his fucking mouth or some shit. Nah. That interview's already pissed me off. Yeah, sorry for getting deep, but I mean, it, it, that is the case. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are in London. Would, would, you have, would you say that, that that's, like, affected your, I don't know, like, your, your, your musicianship at all? Has it affected your creativity? It's weird. I think we just all adapt, don't we? Like, to what comes. So, like... Yeah, in the sense we're not out busking all the time. I'm not busking with you, I'm not busking with the boys. I'm not playing shows. Like, that is basically, like, the main thing that features a musician. But then you just have to change what you're doing. So I'm, like, writing a lot more at home, going to the studio a lot more. Um, yeah, it's just kind of that. You just kind of take what it is. It's so weird how something as big as this gets normalised. It's made me, like, realise so much how we take for granted just being able to see somebody. Because yeah. never in a million years would you imagine a situation where you can't go and give like your family love when yeah. something like that it's happens. It's like, like if you told me like, this is a classic line, I'm sure everyone said this, but if you told me last year that this would, this would that would have been an eventuality that I would have had to deal with or you, you would have had to yeah, deal yeah, with yeah. this in year. In our lifetimes. Like, even in our lifetimes, at any point before last March, I would have gone, you are absolutely having a, yeah. a laugh. Yeah, like, yeah, no yeah. way. Like, cause like, what could come about and do that to us? But it, it's it's the case. So, do you think that with everything that's happened, the way you approach music, and like over the last, let's say over the last six months, because in this country we've been yeah. like 
it's been very up and down our situation mm. do you think that um, your music reflects the time that you made it in or do you think that I think the, do you think that it's more like you wanted to avoid that and just make something that's really special that can last forever and can be in any time I think for me like Yes and no, because. By the way, I have to I have to admire that Elise top that he's got on because that shit used to be so cheap, but now it's kind of on the expensive side, and it's classic wear. Because I had like, like you know this, because I was like really really sick with Lyme disease for yeah. like eight years. I spent the majority of those eight years in a bedroom anyway, yeah. like locked inside the bedroom. The only difference with this time and then was then I felt horrible i felt like my uh, i had all these really bad symptoms i was feeling terrible all the time so a lot of my writing during that time was about being in isolation with an illness mm. and this time it's like that's why i was like it was, it was like i'm feeling great yes i'm gonna go yeah. back to the real world it's like nah yeah, <laughs> back exactly, in the room yeah. i was like oh cool life thanks man yeah. but like so like but now it's it's a different situation because i'm i'm in isolation but i have a fully capable body i'm not suffering with all these symptoms all the time so it's like a different thing but like Writing wise, it's like a lot of my work has been again with the interviewer. I'm sorry, but I don't know what it is. He's really rubbing me the wrong way. Like Ren's talking, and this guy is checking out his pecs or some shit, checking out his arm hair or something. What the? F Come on, bro. Look, at least look a little bit interested. He may not like you know this interview may not Ren more than we do or more than I do or whatever at this point, but. You know, the interview is for everyone to watch. Why are you why are you just not showing any interest, bro? You just it's like he's he's literally got like a set of questions. Like I'm I'm sure obviously that's how you interview people. That's that's not what I'm debating, but you know, it, it, you sat on the stage, you're supposed to make it casual and then you just you're not even listening to what he's saying. Like look at this. Writing wise it's like What's he looking a lot at? Of my work has been quite centered around that around it, like, do you know what it feels like it feels like he's asked Ren for an interview because he thinks it may get him some views or whatever it is and then he's forgot about the interview stage of it he's kind of like the look look at him he's not even looking down I mean he's not even looking at Ren god that's really rubbed me the wrong way I'm sorry guys I'm sorry if you're a fan of what was his name Sam or whatever it is right I'm sorry I do apologize but no this is just not right being feeling kind of like isolated and cut off there are so many people that are going through those chronic illness things that need to hear that there are stories of people that are moving past it because like when I was in it all I wanted to do was seek out stories of people who had gotten better yeah because like that's what of course made me feel like it's human worth, nature isn't it the life was, was how do I get over this certain thing like oh so if that person can do it then maybe I can do it and like now that I've gotten to a place where I'm like not only gotten out of this like like nightmare that I was living in, but also then managed to build somewhat of a successful career. Man, for you've done so like, well. I would like to look at him. I would like that to be reflected rather than me just still writing songs about isolation. Yeah. Like I like that to be reflected and bring a bit more of a message of hope and stuff. Of course. Because, but yeah, like you're saying, like you don't have to be sick to listen to it and then relate to it. Yeah. So like even at a time like at the moment, like like mental health problems have well shot up for people who are just like just inside all the yeah, time. Yeah, COVID, COVID had some crazy effects on people, like genuinely, genuinely. And so I almost feel responsible for people who are listening to me to, to give them something that's a little bit more hopeful than just like... So instead I'm, of being the guy who's like, oh, I'm suffering, I'm living like this, he's decided to be the guy that, you know what, there's other people out there who are going through this and probably worse, so I'm going to be the guy that's going to try and get them out of that. And at the same time, obviously, he's helping himself, he's helping others, which is good. Yeah, it's really good. Ready off about the situation. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He's really fucking annoying me. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me, tell me I'm over-exaggerating, please. Ah, oh, come on. I think that's like really natural as well as like when you go through something like that obviously I can't I can't relate but obviously I've seen I've seen what it's done to you as a person how it's made you grow and I remember that summer when we um, when we when it was 2018 when we had that summer when everything kind of kicked off for us yeah. like on our with the blind eyed stuff I always thought that like, that was like okay so the boys fair enough okay that's that's fine that's obviously you know I've 
I've just been introduced to Ren, so I don't know who he hangs about with or whatnot. But in terms of interviewing skills, yeah, that guy's like meh. But they're boys, so that's fine. That's acceptable. That was real special to be able to be part of that with you, like, because I remember we were sat in some restaurant once, and we and we'd just been shared on Instagram by um by Alfie Days and Zoe, yeah. and our Instagram was going mental, yeah. like, and we were like, oh my god, oh my god, and I remember us looking at each other and going like, this is so yeah, sick. Yeah, but, but because I, but it was so cool because like because you were a like like busking musician like started as well, and I knew how much it meant for you, I knew knew how much it meant for yeah. me to be like sat there being like. Oh look! Things it's are blowing up. Yeah, for us right yeah, now. yeah. Like, what? And then we got, and then we started seeing the videos, and yeah. like all the videos were doing really well. But it was more like it was being able to experience so cool. like, that it's... so by chance, and like and and like all the stuff that had happened, like you, like all of it was so like so by chance. Like none of yeah, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. like none of it was like prepared for. No, like, no, no. Literally, the only thing was prepped was the music video we made yeah. for the original version of Blind Eye yeah. that we'd made two years ago, but we just sat on that for ages. And we, we never really thought that it was going to be like this big Never, thing, man. Like, we just we just got up one morning yeah. and just decided to go for a bus. But I think the coolest thing about that was like, if that had just happened to me, it probably wouldn't have been as cool. Cause like, no. I knew for a fact how much you were striving to make that happen. Yeah. And you knew for a fact for with me, even though I wasn't pushing it, like how much it meant to have come out yeah. of this illness and then like the thing that I've wanted to do my whole life suddenly starts manifesting. So I was like, I had this been like, to see how happy it was making you and then you to see how yeah. happy it was making me. That was well cool. I remember those times yeah. when we'd pull up with our wheelbarrow with the amp inside Yeah, literally walking around like, with a wheelbarrow. Yeah, yeah. wheelbarrow, but everyone yeah. in Brighton would see us and stop us and be like, hey, are you doing the bus later? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come down. And then they'll be like, by the end of the summer, there'd be like 600, 700 people cool. on the yeah. street. We'd have the police there having to lock it off. And like, and that felt like, and talking about- I remember about, there was that- I like that, I like that. Do you know what I mean? It's, so these guys have obviously worked together for a while and they've come up together, which is, which obviously that explains at the beginning why the interviewer, Sam, why he felt, you know, so comfortable saying, yo, can you just not say yo? That's fair enough. And I said that from the beginning, if they turn out to be friends by the end of this video, as in like, you know, I find out that they're actually friends and close friends, then yeah, I'll retract what I said at the beginning. But, you know, I just feel like with, I don't know, I, I said, I, I don't know Ren that much. So for me, this is the first time that I'm seeing Ren outside of his music. I've only done two tracks, so this is the first time that I'm seeing Ren outside of his music, so I just thought, not a professional interview, not where, you know, you've got a mic in front of his face, no, that's, even though they do, but not like that, that's not what I'm saying, it just felt a bit more, you know, yo, I'm interviewing, can you not do what you're, can you not say, yo, let me do my own thing first, just felt that, that, and that doesn't matter now, because obviously they are friends, so, yeah on the yeah. street we'd have the police there having to lock it off and like and that felt like and talking about I remember about, there was that day where we, we, we turned up because we were always a little bit late the whole everyone street everyone just looked at us was there waiting for us and there was like about it was, yeah. no joke it's like close to a thousand people yeah. police on either side of it and we were like this is just from an Instagram yeah. that's pretty good like, like, that's pretty good an hour ago yeah. and that's, that's how that's, that's how yeah, that's that's some good right there, man. That is some good right there. Like you know, you start literally starting from the bottom, and you know, you, like, as I said, you go into town, and then there's people waiting for you, and you haven't even made it big yet, and all of a sudden you've got like seven hundred to a thousand people just literally clamoring to see your music, to hear your music. You know how powerful it became, and like I'll treasure that always because I think that. Like experience, as you said, like experiencing that on our own would have been really kind of, would have been like really cool. But like you wouldn't, it's nice to know that throughout my life, if I if I ever want to like kind of talk about that, yeah. I'd always have someone who literally understands it. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, if yeah. I'd done that on my own and like told it to people, like no one would truly understand That's or true. appreciate well, no, that it. That's true. That's true with any art form, really. Even with you know with YouTube reactors and content creators, you know, at the beginning and gamers and stuff like that at the beginning, I'm sure they were all getting laughed at. I'm sure of it. Like, yeah, what gaming for a living? What are you talking about? But now these, as, you know, these kids or teens or early twenties, these are some of you know some of the richest people. Um, not on earth, obviously, because they're not billionaires, but they're, they're quite well off. And from what? From playing a game and sharing it with everyone. You know, it's obviously I'm not comparing that to to actual music because that is actual talent that they're utilizing. But yeah, I understand what he's saying. You know, people will laugh at your dreams in a way. So I'm guessing he's the from Brighton. Kind of, I feel like we helped like 
ch change things for young. I think a lot of people look at it. I've seen people cover Blind Eyed, yeah. like busking and stuff. Like people. Okay, actually, so I need to listen to Blind Eyed. Covering that. Being <coughs> COVID. Musicians, sometimes it, it looks like a little bit unattainable because you've got all these, especially when you've got all these flashy music videos, fancy cars, yeah. like people in, ch like yeah. that, that has been like, a standard of pop music for a while. And I wish that would change. I wish that would change. And I'm glad that Ren, the two music videos that I saw, I'm glad that he, that's not what he was doing because I've, I've just had enough of that shit. Yeah. So when you see just like a video of two kids out on the street looking a little bit scruffy yeah. with a guitar playing it and then also being able to be successful online, like it makes this all of a sudden makes it accessible. So if you're a kid from like, you know, me like broke kid growing up, you go, Oh, cool! I could just do that. All I need to do is grab a guitar, and learn. get out on the streets, and yeah. I can actually do that. Like I don't have to have this big, like, flashy show. And I think that's why it went down really well because there was yeah. no bells and that whistles. Was, that man. was it, but, man. Well, it's been really sick speaking to you, man. I yeah. really, really appreciated it. Thank and, you for um, having me. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Was it Scott or Sam? I don't even know. Scott wasn't it? It was Scott. Whatever. Um, Okay, apart from the rocky start at the beginning, which <laughs> I did not like at all. Um, it's, it's, um, that was that was quite eye-opening just to see where, where Ren actually started from. I know maybe it wasn't as in-depth, but it's still for me as a new listener and, uh, well, yeah, as a new listener and potentially a, a fan, that's where, I like to hear it. You know, I like I like to hear an artist's story like that because it, 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 just as they said, it's good to know that they haven't started off from throwing money for a music video or for a producer or for this and that. You know, it's it's just like guitar in town. You got the talent. People will appreciate that. You know, you can't rush that type of stuff. It's if, if you've got the talent, people will appreciate that. And that's the thing. So I'm glad I watched it to be fair because it's given me a little bit more insight into Ren. I'm sure there's more interviews out there that uh, people have watched and goes into a little bit more in depth. So let me know. Uh, keep suggesting more Ren songs. Uh, like I said, the next one will be the Tale of Jenny and Screech. I think it's the yeah, Tale of Jenny and Screech. And I know there's a th that's a three parter, so I will do all of that. But uh, yeah, keep recommending other artists as well that you think I'd like. Go check out the rest of the channel just to get a flavor of what I'm into. And I must tell you, if you are brand new, then I am. Like the, the channel itself is, I pride myself on being a real reactor, as in like, you know, giving my my honest opinion on shit. Not because people, I, there's a lot of artists that I've covered on the channel that, you know, their fans have actually come at me because I didn't like a certain thing. And so, well, I don't know, you're here to watch my opinion. Why are you telling me your opinion? I mean, you could tell me in the comments, oh, that's good, I agree with what you're saying, oh, I disagree with what you're saying, because this, this, and this. You don't have to get abusive about it. So anyway, uh, yeah, hit like, hit subscribe, all that kind of good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay alert, and goodbye from me.